heading to Minnesota to the Ryder Cup. They will not say hello or you're welcome or anything. Let's see. I think the Midwesterners are always nicer than like the New Yorkers. That's what you said. I think they'll say, I say, hey, what's up? All right. No, the last one, I didn't say anything. You just said he was a you-know-what. Oh. Hello. He said hello. Receipt, please. Get a receipt. Appreciate it. Thank you. He did well, right? I think so. Seems like nice enough for me. I don't know. That's what we're doing now is judging toll workers. <laughs> So we've already had a pretty eventful day. If you already saw our previous vlog post, we had, we discovered that great big propeller, basically, that Danny thought was a wing. We found it was a propeller for a windmill. Uh, we actually got to meet the guy on the land, and uh, so he gave us permission to go out there, and he told us those windmills are, uh, 300 or 400 feet tall. 400 feet tall with the propeller. No, the propeller's no, 400 feet or 300 feet, the propeller's 100 feet. Okay. Right? It was really high. And he, and he gave us a little heads up. He said someone else had driven a drone, had flown their drone there and they lost their drone. Uh, so we were very, very fortunate. He gave us a few tips to not lose the drone. But the other guy is he and him returned to home and then the drone tried to come back and it, he and it got hit by one of the propellers in the windmill and they, they saw the and video feed. 100 miles an hour, the tip of that propeller shot. 100 miles an hour. When we were wondering how far north of Chicago we were, well, we just crossed into Wisconsin. So, Nick State, Minnesota. So we can tell we're in Wisconsin because it is quite cool out here. And as you can also see, cheese. Finally in Minnesota. Minnesota welcomes you. Very nice city, Minneapolis. Heading into Whole Foods. Pretty much like all the other Whole Foods, all the same and all different. It's cold here. It's cold. It's rolling. It's cold. It's cold here. People are bundled up. We're the only people wearing shorts. That's not smart. Really? There's a lot of spin. Good place. So, so the, the plan is after this, 20 minutes to the campground and we set up our tents. We should probably stop by some pants though. Thursday with the ISM uh, guests and clients, and then we start teaching golf Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Good night. Good morning. What's up? Sleep well last night? Yeah, I took two Tylenol PM and worked pretty good. I dreamt I was in bed and stuff. It was really weird. That would be weird. Oh, right, Coffee? Man. That is an outfit, I'll sell you. I went to Target last night. She's talking a German accent right now, I look like a detour or something. Minnesota's pretty nice. It's beautiful. These are already starting to turn color. This looks like a really nice area that we, we, were, that we are in. Yep. I 
I notice every time I come up here, we're in Wisconsin for the PGA. Everything is so, the people are really nice and everything has just kept up better. Like the gas station we're at, typical one that sells breakfast and all that stuff. Everything's super clean. Food was even tasted fresher. It's just funny how when you get into bigger cities, things aren't like that. It's definitely chilly. Golf, I don't know why they would have it's beautiful up here, but all this is golf weather, you know. So Dan's in the dressing room, he's getting some something to wear in the tent at night for the trip back, so we must try it on first because that's for sure it's How's it going in there, Dan? I always wanted to be Chewbacca. <laughs> Do that again. <laughs> I always wanted to be Chewbacca. Well, what do you? Is that a winner or what? Yeah, I just wear this all week. What do you? That, that's a winner for you. you. You can probably just wear. Too, they probably have some other ones you can wear around can just wear this, this week. Place. Yeah, that's good. Can I? I could teach golf on this. They take you seriously with that. As serious as they will otherwise, yeah. Yes. <laughs> they do have changing room for these things, you know? Wait, what? Just, you don't know what you, Oh my gosh, this is hysterical. <sighs> oh my god. It's 8 o'clock in the morning at Target. Ding, ding, ding. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Brother making more friends. Hello, how are you? I'm Sandy. Sandy, Next I'm Mike again. Mike, this is my husband Dave. Hey, hey there, Dave. How you They're doing? going to the Ryder Cup. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Danny. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Yeah, so um, nice to meet you. so we camped. We left. I like your trailer. Day. So right. and keep going. <sighs> That's our recreation area, the beach, the boat launch. Oh, wow. Oh, we'll go there. Yeah, Factor, yeah. Very nice setup, huh? Nice place. It actually is. Okay, so here's the, 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 the plan is, right? We're going we're gonna to shower, change, shave, all that good stuff. Shoot the drone off over the lake, right? Yeah. Then we're going to go to uh, to set up at, at Deer Run with the golf course. And maybe play golf. Or at least we'll practice. If I'm playing in a pro-am. Now we did get permission I need to, to leave our practice. tents here and stuff like that for a little while. We can't be leaving them too long. That's fine. So this is really a great campsite, and this is better than a hotel, more fun than a hotel. Even though last night kind of sucked, putting these up in the rain and everything. Mike gave me, I think, the better tent. Is your, is your fly dry? Feel underneath this. Uh. Dry. Yeah, that's all right. So we can probably break down even if we do it quick. You want to break these down, yeah? Let's just quickly do it. All right. So let's grab your stuff. So we're at Deer Run Golf Club in Victoria, Minnesota, and this is uh, uh, the place where we're going to do all of our teaching for the, the guests at the, the International Sports Management event, and tomorrow there's a, an outing, and it's kind of like a pro-am. So Danny and I, and I think about 10 or 11 other pros will be here hitting shots for players in, in an outing, so that'll be fun. And I just found out that, uh, I was just told that Rocco Mediate is going to be here also, so that's pretty exciting. Okay, so you have to see this. This is really cool yeah, how they have this. So I'm just going to show you. Here we go. And then the device knows I hit the ball and automatically the ball comes out. How about that? So you can just...
Sing it.